Watch me transform these Disney character canvases into these lovely crushed glass and glitter wall art canvases. Hey YouTube! So today in this video, I am going to be painting on these canvases. As you can see, they're already done. We purchased these from somewhere, I'm not exactly sure, but I think they're like a 16 by 20. They're Elsa and Anna from the movie Frozen, of course. And my daughter no longer wants these in her room anymore. We're deciding to go in a different direction with her decor. So I decided instead of just throwing these out, or I could have gave them to someone or donated them, I want to paint over them and do a completely different design. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using this antique white to go ahead and cover this up. And then eventually I'll be adding in like a cranberry color. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Okay, so I just added one coat at first uh, to the canvas and it did really good. The paint was pretty thick and full enough. I ended up doing about two or three coats to completely cover it. That I'm trying to get with like a maroon wine color, not exactly bright red. So I kind of mixed up a few colors and I kind of made this color. It's not exact, but I just didn't want it to be too bright red. I want these to be the same, but not exact similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some red in the middle, quite a bit of it. Um, I'm just gonna kind of spread it the best way I can. Hopefully I don't have to mix up another one of these because majority of I'm gonna have a lot of glitter and crushed glass in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm adding on the wine color that I mixed up. I probably should have mixed up a little bit more and I couldn't find my acrylic paint brushes so I used a sponge brush because I noticed that I was a little wild with my brush strokes. But I feel like it gave it a really an aggressive look and it just really changed the whole vibe of how these paintings look before so I am happy about this. Um, but this color did come out pretty close or pretty much exact to what I was trying to get. Product called Liquid Glass by TriArt. If you don't have this, you can use Mod Podge. I've used my Mod Podge before, it works just as good. I just think this makes the glitter and um, everything look sparklier to me. Um, what it is is a medium pouring. Some people use this to coat their canvases. Um, or different things of that nature. So I'm gonna and you can this. let this dry or not. I, I usually do, but I'm not today because I'm kind of in a hurry and I know it'll be fine. So I'm going to just pour quite a bit because I'm gonna have a lot of red uh, glitter here. And I'm going to have the crushed glass, which you can pick up from Michael's for about five bucks. I bought mine last year, so it's possible the price went up. Then I'm going to also use a little bit of this holographic glitter. And this is my red glitter. But it's like not a bright red, it's kind of deep, so I'm going to use this too. I add on a heavy amount of the Liquid Glass Tri Art product because I like to add a lot of glitter and crushed glass, so I like to make sure I have plenty on there to hold it all in place. Now I'm pouring on the crushed glass, um, I think it's by Ashlyn. It's about $5 from Michael's Craft Store. And I put on quite a bit. I try to spread it out pretty well. And you can also buy colored um, crushed glass as well. Or you can make your own if you know how to do it. You can just crunch up your own glass and mirror. Um, I, when I did, I just couldn't get it as small as the one you buy from the store. Now I'm adding on some red glitter. It's like a really deep red. So I think it kind of matches the color of the paint that I have here really well. So I'm going to put quite a bit of glitter on here because I just want it to be very, very sparkly and just very shiny. I let them sit for about uh, 30 to 45 minutes so they can dry. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush this off for a while and just make sure that I'm getting all the big pieces that are gonna stay on, make sure that they're coming off. 
um, because once I give this to the person I don't want every time they walk past glitter flying off or just it being messy and I'm almost finished you guys okay you guys here is the final finished result of these two canvases that used to have Disney characters on them um, this is a great way to revamp something uh, so just think about the next time you go to the thrift store and you see something that may have like an outdated look on it or just something that's kind of not what you're looking for but the size of the canvas is good and it's nice and strong you just go ahead and you paint right over it whatever color you want um, add some crushed glass to it and some glitter and you'd be surprised what you get um, you really cannot tell that this used to have any cartoon characters on it and I think that's the great thing about it uh, because they were just going to probably go get donated which is cool too um, but if you could just take something that you already have and flip it into something even better then that makes it amazing um, I did have to do quite a bit of coats really just like two and a half coats and it was covered up fine with no problem and I really do like the colors that I used here I've never used these two colors before but I think this would look even better in my opinion if I would have used a darker color in the background like maybe a black or a gray that would have been really really nice especially a black and red I think that would be really really pretty but it came out really pretty and I do like it and the person that I made it for really likes it as well she has quite a bit of ideas of where she wants to put it she wants them to be side by side so she just wants to make sure that she has the perfect place to put them I think this was a pretty great DIY um, just to show you if you do see something at the Goodwill or wherever you see it and you think oh I don't like that you can easily turn it into something that you do like I hope you received some inspiration or some really cool ideas from this video if you did give it a thumbs up or share it on Facebook Thanks you guys for watching this video and subscribe if you'd like to. If not, thank you so much for stopping by. Bye-bye. And we do carry faux leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury inspired croc charms, as well as iron-on patches and much more. Enjoy the coupon code MYROYALBEAUTY10 off. Check out our website, crtacticaldefense.com where we do sell in waistband gun holsters belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code VIBES for a special discount for my subscribers. And be sure to check out my playlist. I have a whole playlist dedicated to wall art, crushed glass canvases, and you can definitely check that out. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.